teaching artist with the Music Center. In my artistic practice, I work with puppets that are tiny to gigantic in order to share the stories of ordinary, extraordinary people. And I also work with teams of artists and community members to create giant puppets to share the stories of our times. Today, we're gonna to be working with toy theater puppetry. These are a few examples of some toy theater puppets that I've been working on lately. This is a tiny tea box toy theater. This is a shoebox theater. This is a puppet theater that was carved from linoleum and then printed on paper, put together into a puppet theater. And today we are going to be taking milk carton, juice cartons, and transforming them into our puppet stage and puppet shows. Hope you enjoy the day. These are the supplies that we'll need today. Paper, pencil or pen, scissors, tape, glue or glue sticks, markers or colored pencils. And the secret ingredients today, a small box, maybe a tea box or a milk or juice carton or a shoe box and sticks, skewer sticks, popsicle sticks, coffee stirrer sticks or sticks that you could find at home. Tiny Tea Box Theater presents Tales of Our Time. It's unlike anything I have ever seen. In India, sea turtles are taking over the beaches, finding places to lay their eggs. Oh, this looks like a great spot. How about right here? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, wonderful. Good to see you. You too. Meanwhile, people are washing their hands. And kids are keeping each other safe while wearing the latest fashions in masks. Hey, love those polka dots. I love the stars. Tag, you're it. Yeah, you're it. Ah. Meanwhile, people are out there on the streets and in the offices, working hard to turn the tides of injustice over to justice. Yay! And in homes all over the city, parents are taking care of their children. Oh, I hope you sleep well tonight. Let's read a book and feeding each other good food. I made my famous spaghetti recipe. Yes, and I made my greens recipe. Let's, let's share. Yeah, let's do it. And in South LA, neighbors have gathered to pack boxes of fresh produce and food for hundreds of families each week. Here's an apple. Yeah, here's some potatoes. Here's some cauliflower and some strawberries to keep people fed each day. Gracias, thank you for all the care and love that you share with each other. Today we're gonna enjoy toy theater. We're gonna look at the history of toy theater, make a puppet stage, sketch a story, create your puppets, and share your puppet show. Here's an example of a toy theater kit. Toy theater became popular with the invention of the printing press. Artists would go to the theater and draw every aspect of the stage and the settings of the play. Artists would spend a lot of time drawing out each character and even their different emotions and costume changes. These characters are from a play called Othello. People could buy their toy theater kits in black and white or in full color. Notice the orchestras playing below. Some characters, some settings. This part is called the proscenium. And inside we see the backdrop and the characters who are in the foreground. Make a stage. Look at a small box. What is the front of the stage? What is the top of the stage? 
Cut out the top of the stage. Use the pieces to create the frame, the proscenium. Attach the frame and decorate. Today we're going to use a milk or juice carton. I'm going to decide what is going to be the top of my stage and what is going to be the front of my stage. And as you know, the sides are blocked right now, so I'm going to start by cutting out the sides. I recommend punching some holes to make it easier to cut. Now it's time to decorate. Here are some pieces of paper I found. Old wrapping paper, envelope. I noticed the inside of business envelopes have a really interesting pattern. So let's see what we can create, how we can make the stage look beautiful. Sketch a story, fold your paper, label beginning, middle, and end. Make your story. Who is your character? What happens to surprise your character? How does it end? So you're going to start by folding your paper into six boxes. I'm going to fold it in half the long way and then take one third and fold it, one third and fold it. It doesn't have to be exact. Now I have six boxes. On one side, you're going to write beginning, middle, and end. In beginning, I want you to think about your character. Who is your character? What is their name? Are they a person? Are they an animal? Are they an imaginary creature? In my story, is going to be about a little girl named Carolina. And at the beginning, she's going to say, I looked outside my window because she's in her house. In the middle, she's seeing something that surprises her. So what's something that could surprise your character? In my story, she said, and saw a bird fly by. And in the end, you're going to think about how does your story end? I sprouted wings and began to fly. Now I'm gonna do my drawings. Now let's move on to making the puppets. 
You might want to cut out some squares about the size of the opening of the stage. We'll do this to make sure that the puppets are the right size to be seen on stage. Now it's time to perform the show! Rise up! One day, Carolina looked outside her window. <gasps> wow! She saw a bird fly by. It looked so beautiful, flying this way and that way. It was so beautiful when she turned around. She sprouted wings and began to fly. Beautiful and free. Thank you for joining me today for Toy Theater. I hope you had fun and will enjoy sharing your show.